Hi, I'm Lars Bach. I'm the tech lead for the V8 project. And the V8 project is a new, exciting, uh, high-performance JavaScript engine we built here at Google. The V8 team is located in Aarhus, Denmark, but we also have a few people working on the project here from Mountain View. JavaScript was originally designed to be a way of customizing a simple customization inside the browser. So if you press the button, it could do f different things. So it allowed the programmer uh, to change the behavior of the browser. In the beginning, it was only meant to be a small piece of code you added to your web application. One of the interesting properties of JavaScript and the reason why it's uh, being used today is that it's platform independent. So you can run on Mac OS or Windows and use the same application inside the browser. Let me talk about the three key design decisions we did in V8. The first one is the hidden classes. The second one is the generated code. And the third one is the efficient memory management system we have. So first I want to show you how we have introduced hidden classes in our system. As you all know, uh, JavaScript is prototype based. And uh, if you have a function here called point, uh, where we create a new object and assign x and y to the parameters, and here the last two lines will create two different points, where x and y is 0 and 1, and 2 and 3. In most JavaScript implementation, you will have two independent uh, objects that will not share any common structure. That's different in V8. So here's a drawing what we do in V8. Um, here you have the two different objects, A and B. And instead of having them being in com completely independent, like in most JavaScript implementation, we actually make them share a hidden class. So instead of creating two objects, we create three. A and B, and then the hidden class for these two objects. The hidden class will, will actually explain that both these two objects have the same number of properties, namely two and then named x and y. Now, how are we going to use this? Well, let me sh uh, show you some generate machine code we do in V8. So another idea in V8 is that we translate JavaScript code into machine code instead of just using interpreter to obtain speed. And let's take an example. If you actually have some application that uses a point, here we are symbolized with a point.x, it reads the x property out of a point. And uh, here you have the code we actually generate for it. So this is uh, x86 code. And instead of having a complicated uh, lookup of a property, we can actually do much better if we have a hidden class structure. So as you see, in this case, reading an X property of an object will translate into three machine, machine instructions. The first instruction will actually check that the object has a certain hidden class. If it has that, uh, we'll continue to the third instruction and then just read the X property out of the object. Otherwise, we call a runtime routine. Now, when you generate the code, we do not know about the hidden classes. So this code here is classical uh, inline caching, and we capitalize on the hidden classes to make it run fast. In essence, instead of having a, a generic lookup for a property, we can actually generate m efficient machine code to fetch the property out of the object, like any other class-based object on the system. The, the third thing we wanted to solve in V8 was we wanted to eliminate a uh, garbage collection process. And so we designed this efficient memory management system that allowed fast allocation and also minimal pauses when running uh, JavaScript. And that actually means when you as a user use JavaScript inside the browser, you will not get any hiccups if you have interactive applications. Uh, in particular, if your application is big, then you tend to have lots of pauses. We eliminated that by uh, implementing a two-generation based garbage collector so that when we reclaim storage for objects, we do it in small pieces. Uh, it sounds like a simple problem, but in JavaScript, you're always reading in JavaScript, compiling native code, creating hidden classes, and so on. In V8, all these kinds of objects that are created at runtime, they reside inside the object heap, and they are reclaimed incrementally as you execute. So V8 is an open source project, and uh, Chromium.org is also including it, so it's part of the Google Chrome browser. You can also take it as a separate standalone project and embed a new application. 
So the main purpose of V8 is to raise the performance bar of JavaScript out there in the marketplace.